How to take a water sample properly. First, fill out the required paperwork completely to ensure the lab will test the sample and the results will make it back to you. To prevent contamination of the sample by your hands, it's a good idea to begin by washing your hands thoroughly. The water sample should be taken at the point of use. This is usually a kitchen tap. The sample should be taken after all treatment devices, such as water softeners, reverse osmosis filters, carbon filters, or UV lights, because you are trying to determine the quality of the water that you or your guests will be consuming. We recommend that you do not take the sample from a bathroom tap or an outside tap. Start the process by removing an, any attachments on the tap, such as aerators. Because some back spray and food particles can contaminate the inside of the tap, it is recommended that you wipe the inside of the tap with the disinfectant. You can use a cloth soaked in a mild bleach and water solution or an alcohol swab. Let the cold water run full out for three to five minutes to ensure your sample contains water from your well, rather than the water that has been sitting in your plumbing for a period of time. When it is time to take your sample, reduce the stream to about the width of a pencil. When you remove the cap from the water bottle, make sure you hear the seal break. Be sure not to touch the inside of the cap and do not put the cap on the counter. It could become contaminated. Do not rinse the bottle out with your water. There will be some crystals or powder in the bottle. This is okay, it is supposed to be there. Fill the bottle up to the fill line. Package the paperwork and the bottle together. Place the sample in an insulated cooler with an ice pack until it reaches the lab. As water quality can fluctuate, it is recommended that three consecutive samples are taken at least one week apart. If your sample returns with counts of bacteria, you can call your local health unit to speak with a public health inspector who will assist you in interpreting your results.